Hi guys, it's Dawn. How are you doing? Um, tonight I'm just going through some stuff in my um, art room and I, I'm kind of putting things away. And I've recently um, got this little baby and I picked it up at that art reuse center and I thought it was really cool. It's got a little scratch on the back, but you know, it's not the, this book that we, we like, although it's really pretty if it wasn't so big. I mean, this thing is huge. Here's a ruler to show you how actually how big it is. It's, uh, well, what's that? Well, that would be 12, right? 12 by, I would say 12, 13, 14, 12 by 15 or something. I mean, it's pretty big. It's really big. And then a wide, it's a lot, you know, this way, diagonally. It's, it's pretty big. So anyway, this is somebody's, um, somebody's, uh, let me open those because I want these pages maybe. Um, somebody's, uh, I'm sorry about the glare there, you guys. I had to take down the um, overhead shade because I put in a light bulb. And what ended up happening is I couldn't get the, 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 the shade thing back up there. What am I trying to say? Not shade thing, but you know what I mean. The, yeah, the shade thing, whatever. Anyway, so now we have that awful glare. But that is, it. that's that'll happen so I'll fix it someday when I've got a new um oh look at I've been here Paul Revere's house oh sorry anyway Faneuil Hall this hasn't changed but so all of these this is the old North Church um all of these um this is somebody's scrapbook it looks like something they did in around 1964 as far as all of the um the uh Dates on here are concerned. It's 1964, so I've been here. Concord Bridge. Yes, I have. I've been. I lived in Con outside of Concord for a little bit for a minute. So yeah. Anyway, um, I wonder if they're gonna. I'm looking for the the uh, old hotel in Concord, but they didn't show it. I stayed there. It's right downtown Concord. I can't think of the name of it. Is it the Monroe? No, that's Concord Grid Minuteman. We're not going to show it. But anyway, so this whole book, so we start out in Boston, Boston it looks like, and then he goes, he or she, go, R.W. Brown. For some reason I'm thinking this is a guy's. I don't know why. But um, if you look in here, I mean, it's got like, this is, my fair Miss Hepburn talking about her. I mean, there's some. This one says Myrna Loy will start the hit comedy Barefoot in the Park at the Colonial Theater beginning September 21st. This is like stuff that's going on in and around Massachusetts, right? So yeah, and it's, there's not a lot of dates in here, but I did find a date that said like 1964 somewhere. And here's the Wayside Inn, and here's like a, a, a his menu. And he look at he checked off. He wanted French onion soup, and he wanted the whipped potato with the baked zucchini and the pineapple cottage cheese. But oh, and he's gonna have he was gonna have the roast prime rib of beef. Yeah, and they have um, a cow wow America's first mixed drink made with rum for a dollar. A Bacardi cocktail was eighty five cents, and a daiquiri was seventy five cents at the time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and then look at this guy or gal. They put their leaves in there, Wayside Country Inn. Um, don't miss our Nickelodeons, three at Sudbury and one at Rock Pit. They're all corkers. They're supposed to stick your fingers in here. I don't know. So anyway, so I just thought this was really great. I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. It's just a wonderful collection, and I, I really don't feel really good about um tearing into it i don't know why i shouldn't have taken it because now i feel responsible for it so oh pardon me goodness goodness this is plymouth rock i've been there and i have to tell you it's this small when i got there and i saw this i went wait what because when you hear about the pilgrims landing on Pilgr plymouth rock you think of something huge well it's just this little tiny three foot round rock i was like wait that's it <laughs> I was pretty surprised yeah, see, 1620. I was pretty surprised it's that small. And then some more tours of uh, Cape Cod and there. So that's that. This is in really good shape, I have to tell you. This talks about the Newport Mansions. I actually vis visited those as well. 
You know, you go to all these fancy houses. They're very well up, kept up. Kept up. I was going to say the upkeep is great. Newport, Rhode Island. Mm. A happy place to live. A wonderful place for vacation. So, mm. And then this is um, the America's Cup races. And this one says 1962. So they're in 1964. This was the record of the America's Cup. So he kept here. She kept that. I guess that's kind of why I thought it was a guy. And then here's some real ephemera from the Empire State Building. Um, and here's one from Rockefeller Center. And then here's all of the things that's going on, like the, the World's Fair, um, the famous skyline in New York Harbor. And then just all kinds of stuff. And then, wait, hang on there, you guys. It gets better. And this is... Um, Ben Gazzara and Mildred Dunnick starred in um, Traveler Without Luggage at the Anta Theater. And this was in 1964, September of 1964, Where to Go and What to Do in New York City. And look at this beautiful, I mean, look at these gorgeous ads, right? Daniel Zither. And then gorgeous. And Chanel number no. five. I mean, look at this car. Ride Walt Disney's Magic Skyway. Ooh. Going to the World's Fair. This is all about the fair and stuff, so that's cool. And then Showplace Radio City Music Hall. This person, this was really neat at Radio City Music Hall. Mary Poppins, Julie Andrews, and um, Dick Van Dyke starts tomorrow. And this was September 23rd, 1964. So Mary, they were on Broadway. Isn't that great, you guys? So general admission seats, 99 cents till noon, $1.35 afternoons, and $1.85 in the evenings to see a Broadway show, you guys. Look at that, Mary Poppins and uh, Copacabana. Oh, that's cool. Who was playing there? Joey Lewis and Helen O'Connell at the Copa. Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. Oh, my God, Jerry Lewis. All these guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. See, I just don't know if I can tear into this. I, I don't think I can. But now what am I going to do with it? If anybody wants it, let me know. Um, Blue Line Sightseeing Tours. There's an original receipt. There's the gray line. Here's the New York City Sightseeing Tours. Talks about them. Gosh, downtown and statue. The fare was $5.50, including tax and deposit for four hours. It costs more to take a sightseeing tour than it did to take a to go to a Broadway show. Really? Air conditioned and glass top buses. Three hour sightseeing tour. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This person really loved their um their trip. Isn't that wonderful? What's funny about this is you don't see the Twin Towers because they weren't built yet, right? Is that true? Am I, is that a true statement? Here's the Cathedral Church. Uh, Catholic Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine. And here's some more. Um, the Hotel Lexington. The monthly that you get. Dining Guide. Oyster Bar. George's Restaurant. Uh, take the Gray Line. Ice Capades. Abco Furs. Oh, look at fur rental service for discriminating women. New furs made in our factory. Oh, you could rent a fur. <laughs> Coco Vaughn. So fancy. So World Fair Notes, Ballet, Sports, Miscellanea, Points of Interest, Chrysler Building, Empire State Building, Greenwich Village, Mutual of New York. Rockefeller Center, Statue of Liberty, the Cloisters, United Nations. Wow. And then look at these tickets right here, guys. These are for real tickets. Souvenir receipt of a visit to the top of the world's tallest building to the observatories. Two tickets. Atop the top of that, Can you hear her running around? I don't know why she does it. I think she's mad at me at night. Praise is universal. 
Bathed in the oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. This is the view you see looking south south, southwest, northwest. Um, what else do we got here? We got the World's Fair. What to see at the World's Fair. Look at that. I just don't know about this. I don't know. I just don't. I love the art, though. Did you see it? Look. All right, cool. That's not. Wait, hang on. They have exotic bazaars there, they said. Oh, what did I see? There. Isn't that pretty? And then here's more of the World's Fair. Look at the color of these pages. They're in really good shape. Here she is. They're in really good shape for um, being, let's see, I'm, I was born in 60, 59. So this book is 55 years old. 55 years old, you guys. Mm -hmm. Somebody's memory is 55 years. This person took 1964 and traveled all over the East Coast. You know, Wonderful World, officially New York's World Fair issue, featuring the Festival of Gas. Welcome aboard. See, that's why I think this was a guy, because some of the other stuff in here is more like things like guys would. Here's UNICEF. New York's World's Fair, 1960, Underground World Home Corporation. How would you like sunshine every day when you want it? I don't know what that's about, but... That's pretty cool. This is what I thought was really cool, you guys. When you open this up and you look at it, it's talking about the computer with its information storage devices is housed in the glass enclosed room at the end of the library in the USA. Requests to it are initiated by professional librarians located at the reference desk. The librarian uses a Unisec keyboard to transmit a request for specific information, such as one of 75 subjects represented in the challenge exhibits the age or educational level of an inquirer, whether a reading list or essay is desired, a uh, language desired for an essay. I mean, if this is talking about one of the old, um, old, uh, what do you call it? Univac, an old computer, or for the 490 real-time computer system. So Benjamin Franklin by Carl Vandal. I don't know. It's just interesting. This is just super cool. And then what's this? Oh, this is just a great big map of New York City back in the day. Back in the day. Isn't this well cared, cared for, you guys? And here's the Wax Museum in... Uh, okay, now we're in Gettysburg. So we're out of New York City and we are in Gettysburg. So this person went to the Gettysburg Museum as well. And this is all the old pamphlets from the... Gettysburg. I wonder if I should call these guys and say, do you guys want your pamphlets? <laughs> this is 1963. But I mean, this could have been um, printed in 63 and he just got it in 64. Cornwall Furnace. Oh, you could tell I'm not in bed yet. Oh, I need to be, but I'm not. And then look at it, what a paper person, right? Isn't this sweet? I built the door, but it didn't make. You keep here. You keep here a while till I dress around, huh? It wonders me. What does it give for dinner? Pop, don't eat yourself full. There's cake back yet. Those seats are so near for me, I sit broad. <laughs> Aunt Min don't feel so pretty good. Her back ouches her something wonderful. Well, okay. Throw Papa down from the haymo his hat. What in the world? I don't know what this is, but it's funny. So I'm going to hold that back up the way I got it. It's adorable. And this is little like a little ticket at our home. You are always welcome. And it's got the table, a couple number, total name. Some kind of a ticket. They must have eaten somewhere, this. But it's not clear where. I wish I would have known. I wish I could tell. Anyway, Annapolis uh, Spectator, um, now at Maryland, highlight of a community event. Okay, it's a nice little book of Annapolis, Maryland, August 1964. And this is Annapolis, Maryland, September 1964. He did some traveling in um, September, right, you guys? Um, 
and all the places that he went and saw. And he stayed at the Willard Hotel in Washington, walk, within walking distance of everything worthwhile in Washington. So where's the Willard on here? It should say you are here, right here. You are here. So you've got all these places to walk to. And look at this. Do you see her fancy naked city woman right there? Oh, there's the Willard. The Residence of Presidents, Washington, D.C. The Willard. We've heard of that, haven't we? Uh, the Lincoln Memorial. Four score and seven years ago. Our forefathers. Mount Vernon. Visitor's Guide to Washington. The latest color edition. Wow. That's the, um, yeah, Statuary Hall. Oh, there's the mall. I actually jogged around here one time. Maybe a couple times when I was in Washington, D.C. at one point in my day. Here's Christ Church. We're almost to the end here. Caverns of Lurie in Lurie, Virginia. And this is How Nature Makes Caverns by T.C. Northcott. It's a nice little bound book. Very cute. Copyright 1955, but he got it later, I'm sure. How Nature Makes Caverns. Talks about stalact stalactites. Those are those that scares me when you're in there. It's like, oh, here's Shenandoah National Park in Virginia. Shenandoah River. Okay, and then here's Monticello with Thomas Edis, Thomas Jefferson. All of his belongings. And I think we're almost to the end. I keep saying that. Here's Boar's Head in Charlottesville. Um, Boar's Head decorative features. It talks about the rooms in the hallway and the lobby and everything that's, up, that's in this little inn here. Williamsburg, Virginia. How to see Williamsburg this week. Through, oh, look, at they did it by week. How about that? September 21st to the 27th. Wow, that was pretty fancy back then to do something every week. Cool, pretty cool. Let's see what else. Oh, I think this might be the last. So what do you guys think I should do with this? I just don't know. I feel like, I don't know. This was Fredericksburg, Virginia. Hotels, motels, inns, motor lodges in Virginia, 1964. Current through April of 1965. Hotel, motel, red book. It's like, is that like, oh, never mind. I don't want to say that because I don't I didn't see that so I don't want to see it anyway Marriott St. Jefferson in Monticello Hotel the guide to the homestead um, motor inns yeah, George Washington and then this little piece of fake fake stuff and I think that's it these are nice pages so anyway I just wanted to share this with you because it's a really wonderful well preserved month it seems like of um somebody's trip they really enjoyed themselves so i don't know what to do with it i don't know whether i should take it apart and piece it out or if i should you know let it go as is or try to there's no names in here there's only one name and that's rw brown see it rw brown i mean very crazy Oh, look at Meeting House Punch. This popular colonial punch was used quite extensively in celebrating particular events such as the raising of the steeple at the Old South Church in Boston, at which time this punch was concocted. Four barrels of beer, 24 gallons of West Indian rum, 35 gallons of New England rum, 25 pounds of brown sugar, 25 pounds of loaf sugar, is that white sugar? And 465 lemons is, oh my good. Oh my goodness, gracious, gracious. So. Oh, look at, there's Aunt. I don't wanna, if I turned it around, I could stick my hand in there and help her. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, all right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at this as much as I did. That was my second time and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you did too. 
I don't know, because I've been to a few of those places, and so that was kind of fun. I hope maybe that you guys have too, and it brought back memories. All right, talk to you guys later. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.